and welcome to this uh, video I have in the past with uh, SolidWorks done a video on creating a decorative design I'd like to do the same in FreeCAD uh, here's an example of uh, what we can make today uh, this is also available for download if you check the link in the description uh, so let's make this by uh, going to the Sketcher workbench after creating a new part. On a sketch, I'll create a sketch on the X, Z plane. You'll find that uh, the process to make this is remarkably similar to that in SolidWorks. So I'm going to create a six point B spline. Uh, let's say I shift V. I'll give the bottom point and the top point a vertical distance of 40 inches. start moving this to be more of like a reverse hourglass shape. I'm going to give my top two points a vertical constraint, my bottom two points a vertical constraint, and I'll actually give these uh, vertical relative to each other, give my rightmost points a vertical constraint as well. Shift H. We're going to go say one inch here. And that should be an acceptable uh, shape. It really isn't that consequential what you choose to go with. And of course you can fully constrain this. So like in SolidWorks, I went with a spline. I'm going to close this. In fact, uh, before I do, I really should make this a uh, solid. So I'm going to take a vertical line and connect the top and bottom points. I'm over constrained, so let's remove constraint 21. And again, I'm not going to worry about fully constraining this, so we're going to close that. Here, uh, well, I'll cancel, unhighlight my sketch, and create a sketch on the XZ plane. I'm going to create a vertical line. Let's make that something like six, in six inches long, so shift V, six inches, close. Uh, I can even revolve this now. We'll go to the part menu. We're going to say revolve over here. I'll choose my original sketch and under select a reference, I'm going to choose my six inch line. Okay. And there I have my revolved solid. In SolidWorks, I've ended up using a surface for this, but in FreeCAD, we use a solid. There's really no difference though. Next, I want to create a few more sketches, so I'm going to go to the sketcher. Uh, I'll choose, again, the XZ plane. Actually, before I do, I'll go back to the part workbench and make some shapes. Eh, I don't know how my workbench got a little bit messed up, but I think I like it better like that. Uh, so we're going to make a shape here, and I'm going to choose a helix. Our pitch, uh, let's go with 80 for one revolution, 80 inches, because we're 40 inches tall, so we'll go halfway around. Our height, we'll go 40, same height as our uh, revolve shape. Radius, we'll do something like 20, uh, maybe to be safe, since the radius really doesn't matter. I'll go 40. That ensures that I'm out past where I need to be. And uh, we'll create. So that's what we've made so far. Looks excellent. Let's close that. Now I'll head on over to my sketcher. And I've kind of messed up that workbench. <laughs> I have to fix that later. Let's sketch. You know what? I can even do it on the XZ plane. So I'll do good on my word that uh, we'll be sketching on the XZ plane a lot. I'm going to cut so that I can see my origin a little bit better and create a horizontal line. We'll edge import this edge and merge these points and we'll close. Finally, let's do a swept and this time it will be a surface. I'm 
on the part menu. Wow. My uh, my workbenches are changing like crazy. Okay, well, let's hope that that's uh, the last nonsense I see of that. I'm going to sweep. There it is, utility to sweep. And sketch 002 will be my profile. My path I can choose in the graphics display. Done. I want to make sure that we create a solid, even though this will be a surface. And uh, frenet. And there is our sweat surface. Next thing I can do is highlight both of these bodies with the control key. And I'll choose uh, intersect. Something went wrong there. So Let's go back to the Revolve, and we're going to change Solid to True. Now I should be able to highlight both bodies, and that's our intersect, right? So that's going to be a great little sweet path for us. Uh, I guess I will have to uh, go back on what I said. There's going to be one sketch. Again, I'm using the space bar to hide these. There's going to be one sketch that I can't do on that plane which I will do now. But unhighlighting things, let's go to the XY plane. I'm going to make, you can do a circle, I think that's a lot more common. I think FreeCAD is pretty cool when you sweep these hexagons. Let's go uh, Shift V. I'm going to go with something like 0.5. Let's edge import. Let's see if we can do that point. We can. So just like in SolidWorks, we do an intersect. I'm going to close that. Now back to part. We'll say utility to sweep. Our latest sketch, our sweep path, we can choose on the graphics display is that edge. Done. Create solid. There we go. So that is a pretty good little sweep. Uh, if you notice I've got some twists that seem to appear random. So let's go back to the sweep, and I'm going to change uh, Frenet to false this time. And that straightens it out a little bit more. <laughs> now I have the freedom to go to the Graft Workbench. I can choose Array. Oh. I have to highlight sweep and then choose array. And now I can do something like a polar array with, uh, let's say, 10. Yeah, nice little pattern there. So that is how you would create uh, a comparable pattern in FreeCAD that you would use uh, in SolidWorks for my other video. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.